since they are larger creatures and nocturnal, in the daytime, Opie and Nat dip over in deeper water, don't really have too good of a chance of seeing those larger sharks out here on our day trips. Now, every time we do take a trip out here to the reef line, we've got a good chance of seeing at least one shark that really does like the shallow conditions all along the reef. That is the nurse shark. People eventually go to a lake that well over 11 or 12 feet long. He'll stay on the shallows on the reef until he's about four, four and a half feet long, but he tends to get larger than that. He'll move off the shallows here, head over to the deeper water where all the other bigger fish hang out. Now, sometimes when we come out here and we see a nurse shark, we'll see him laying motionless at the bottom of the ocean floor. Those sharks cannot do that. They have to be in constant motion to push water through their gills to breathe. That nurse shark is just one of a few different types of sharks that has an extra set of muscles in his throat known as a fecal pump. Now, that fecal pump allows him to do a couple of different things. First of all, he is a nocturnal creature, so in the daytime, he'll find a nice, cozy place at the bottom of the ocean floor. He can lay down and take a nap, engage that fecal pump in his throat that still enables him to breathe while he lays motionless. Now, when he wakes up, he also uses that fecal pump to hunt. Now, his favorite food is the Florida Spiny Lobster. We have tons of those all along the reef line right now. Since they are nocturnal creatures, they're hiding in nooks and caves of the hard coral. That's not a problem for that nurse shark, though. He'll wake up from his nap, he'll locate where a lobster's hiding within the coral. He can actually lock his mouth around the hole in the coral, engage that buccal pump in his throat, and they'll just suck that lobster straight up out of the coral. Now, it's said that he can do that because that buccal pump has the power of about eight Uber vacuum cleaners. And if you were in the water while he were crunching like that, you would hear him mimicking the sound of a nursing infant. Now, it would be a much louder sound because he is a larger creature, uh, but that's how he gets his common name, the nurse shark. Excuse me, Mike, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but unfortunately we have come to the end of our viewing time out here, so we're going to have to pull off the refine, pick up a little bit of speed, start to make our way back toward the west and get ready for sunset. We'd like to thank you, though, for the fantastic presentation once again. Uh, very nice job. Thank you, Captain Ryan. Thank you, guys. I really, really do appreciate that, too. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely, I picked a great day to be on the water and keep us. Uh, enjoy the sunset. If you guys have any questions,